Good morning. Welcome to our next Summer Tech Tuesday. Today's topic is Chromebook 101, where we're going to talk about some quick, easy uh, troubleshooting tips for fixing Chromebooks. So let's get started. Okay, so most problems, and we're going to go over a few things. I'm not going to inundate you with lots of tips, lots of fixes, just a few things that are more than likely going to be all you need to fix most Chromebook issues. Now, this does not include things that are obvious repairs like broken screens, missing keys, cracked housing. Those things need to go to technology to be fixed. So things that you can do in your classroom that will save time, save instructional time, keep your kids available to work. And in fact, these things I'm going to show you, you can actually teach your students how to do as well. But some of the main complaints that we get are pages aren't loading. Um, in Lexia, you can't hear the sound, things like that. Errors on pages. The Chromebook seems like it's freezing. Um, clearing your cache, updating your browser, um, and doing a soft reset, those, those three things will fix almost every problem. And I'll show you how to go through and do those things in just a second. And just a, um, just a tip, um, quick, a preventative from keeping, from a, to prevent a lot of the tech issues, if you have your students log off and actually shut down the Chromebook, at least once a week, that'll help prevent some of these things because that goes through and it checks to see when it reboots. It checks to see if there are any um, updates that need to be installed and things like that. So preventive, preventative thing could be to shut down your computer, Chromebook. All right, so let's talk about um, clearing cache and updating your browser. Lindsay and I use this as a go-to for most of our issues that come to us and it really does fix almost everything. You clear your cache and update your browser. I'm going to show this. To do that, you're going to log into your Chromebook and then you're going to go up to the three dots in the top right corner. They're called hot dogs. And we're going to click on more tools. When you click on more tools, you're going to do clear browsing data. From there, check the time range, make sure it says all time. And then also check that cookies and cache items are both checked. Once they are, you're going to click on clear data. And that's all that's to clearing your cache. Once my data is cleared, I'm going to show you how to update your Chrome browser. Should be just about finished. All right, so we're in settings and I'm going to go to on the left, click about Chrome. And then you can see where it says to see if your device is up to date. You click on that link and if your Chromebook needs to be updated, it'll start updating immediately like mine is. If it is already up to date, it'll tell you that your Chromebook is up to date. So clearing cache and updating your browser solves a lot of issues that we have seen. So again, these are Lindsay. Lindsay and I use these as a go-to many times. Another thing that you can do is do a soft reset. The soft reset, you press the power button and the refresh button. And that, it won't take it back to factory settings, but it does help reset and lets things start working again. So that is another thing that you can do that will alleviate most, a lot of problems. In case you weren't aware of what these buttons were, I do have kind of a cheat sheet for your keyboard. You go across the top, you have your left and right arrows, that's your back and your forward buttons, refresh button, which we use in the soft reset, full page, show your window, shows all windows, your brightness buttons, your sound buttons, mute, 
um, volume up, volume down, and then the power button. You also have the search button on the far left. So these are the keys that you may not know what they were, but um, there's you a little cheat sheet, and that is included in our handouts for today. All right, so after a soft reset, try that. Um, sometimes we're going to kind of go into more specific issues. Sometimes a Chromebook may be very, very laggy and slow. And if multiple students have logged into one device, then if multiple students have logged into one device, um, it could cause some problems and cause it to be slow. So in that case, go in and delete all of the extra pro profiles from the device. Sometimes you even need to delete the profile, the student's profile itself, and then have them re-log in. And um, that will kind of do a quick refresh. Another problem that, another common problem that the librarians see a lot is students will bring in their Chromebooks saying that they can't get the screen to work. Um, so two, a couple of things that you can do. One, check the charger. Make sure that the charger is actually working and not broken. Um, and make sure that the Chromebook itself is charged. If it's not, give it 10 minutes, let it charge for 10 minutes, and then check the screen. Another thing is to check the brightness. I know this seems very simple, but a lot of students will dim their brightness on their uh, device and um, on accident sometimes, sometimes not, or they forget that they've dimmed it. So another go-to thing is always check to make sure that the brightness is actually turned on or turned up so that you can see. Some other things, um, let's talk about accessibility and language. Access accessibility has to do with um, some of the items on the screen, like maybe um, it's magnified way too much, or it looks like it's split, or you have this annoying talking going on. Those will be dealt with in accessibility. And then, and you just love it when students change the language on you. So let's look at those. I'm logged into the Chromebook. I'm going to go to the bottom toolbar and click on accessibility. And then you can see the list of all of the things in accessibility. You have your Vox, Chrome Vox, which is where it speaks to you all the time. High contrast mode. Kids love that. The full screen magnifier. You just click on it to turn it off. Docked magnifier, where it splits the top and the bottom of your screen. Um, when that happens, you're going to click on that accessibility again through the taskbar at the bottom. And we're going to turn off the magnifier. Okay, other things like the keyboard keeps coming on to your screen, you can turn that off there. I have my super large mouse, I can turn that off. And I can also turn off my highlighter. So those are simple things that you can do just by clicking the um, the clock at the bottom to open up the settings toolbar and go to accessibility. Now let's look at language. So I'm going to actually click on the setting gear icon and over on the left click advanced and then you'll see language and inputs. Notice the icon next to languages that world so that if it is in another language you know to look for that world over there. So we're going to click on languages and you'll click on change and this has all of the languages that you can set your Chromebook to. So if it's in a language that your student cannot read, you can change it back to English there. All right, so again, super easy. You go to that taskbar at the bottom of the Chromebook screen and click on accessibility or the gear icon to fix those things. All right, zoom in, zoom out, and view 100%. If you're on a website and you need it to be a little bit bigger, Control Shift Plus will do that for you. Control Shift Minus will zoom it out so that things are a little bit smaller. But once students, sometimes they zoom in, zoom out, just to get it back to 100%, you can click Control Shift Zero, and that will take it back to 100% of the screen as, as defaulted. Don't worry. All of these shortcuts that I'm showing you, I'll give you a cheat sheet for that as well. 
Let's talk about screen rotation. Don't you just love it when a student brings you their Chromebook and everything is turned to the side? This is super easy to fix. If you do control shift refresh, it'll turn your Chromebook screen um, clockwise. So you just keep clicking Chromebook control shift refresh until your screen get back, gets back to um, where it should be. So again, super easy. Here's that cheat sheet I was talking to you about. Everything that I showed you already is listed here. Your soft reset, your screen rotation, zoom in, zoom out, all of those are listed here, as well as other ones that you may not know already. Screenshot, selected area screenshot, um, reload your pages. These are, these are all shortcuts that I use often, and um, I figured you might too. Okay, so it was really a quick, easy um, Chromebook 101, how to fix. I told you I wasn't going to inundate you with lots and lots of things. I wanted to show you the main things, but just kind of a checklist for you. Before you send your Chromebook to the library, when it's not an obvious broken screen, broken key, broken casing, things like that, there's things that you can do to check it before you send your student with it to the library. Um, those are one in review. Check the charger. Make sure that the charger is working. Make sure that the Chromebook is charged. Also check the screen brightness. Make sure it is turned all the way up to see that um, the Chromebook screen is powered on and working. Next, you're still having issues with other things, do a soft reset first. Just simply click power and refresh at the same time and see if that clears up your problems. If not, then clearing your cache and updating your browser are the next two things that you should do. If you do these four things when your students start complaining, teach your students how to do these, I guarantee most of your problems will be alleviated and your students will save lots of time and be in your classroom for instruction rather than in line in the library waiting to see the librarian to get things repaired. So these are great things that you can do. On our website, um, you'll see today's handout where everything is linked. Um, your keyboard, this is the, short, the shortcut to the keyboard. All of those keyboard shortcuts, as such troubleshooting tips on what things to do, those are all listed there. Here's that video again on how to clear your cache and update your browser. This is probably one of the most important things to remember when your students are having problems. It's clear that cache and update that browser. The link to, if you want the whole presentation from today with all of the videos, that is linked down here where um, we are in our Bitmoji form. You'll be able to find a copy of our um, video on our YouTube channel as well as our digital learning website. But in here, those four things I told you you need to do. Here's your kind of your quick checklist and so on. To get to our digital learning website, which is here, uh, visit our last tech tip newsletter and all you'll have to do is click on here and it'll take you to it. By the way, if there is anything specifically you would like to request or suggest for trainings, there is a Google form in our tech tip tech summer tech Tuesday flyer that it will go to both Lindsay and I so that we can um, see what you would like to know. Okay. To get to our resources from today, you're going to click on staff resources. Under that is digital learning, drop down menu, and we're going to do digital learning PD library. The handouts are here as well as videos from our past sessions. If you haven't realized, you can, all of the handouts are listed here. It is a Google slide so you can go through. Our very first one was end of the year wrap up. Last week we did Canvas for Elementary. And by the way, the Canvas for Elementary, there were some updates 
shortly after, or just a day or two after we did our live. So there will be an update section added here with the updates. And they are doing lots of making it great. So check back often on that. And then you have access to today's, the one I just showed you. Don't forget that, um, and I'll leave this because of our technical issues this morning, I'll leave the Google form open for the rest of the day until 4.30 um, for you to go in. If you watch today's video, go in and click on Summer Tech Tuesday to receive your credit. And make sure you fill out your last name, first name, campus, as well as which session you attended. Today's session is Chromebook 101. Oh, that is it. And I hope you learned at least one new thing today and um, enjoy your rest of the day.